Moments of happiness like this mask the reality for many of Syria's children. There are a hundred orphans at the center in opposition-controlled Idlib city. We were in our backyard when my father was killed in an airstrike. Then jets came and killed my mother and my sister. That story reverberates through these small corridors. Almost every child suffers from trauma and psychological stress. Oday recalls the horror of what felt like being hunted. We were in our home when jets killed my father. We moved to another neighborhood when an airstrike killed my sister. Later in another basement, a bunker buster bomb killed my mother. We didn't bury her, we just left her under the rubble. Caregivers have limited financial support. In addition to salaries, the boys and girls sections need more help. And the building needs repairs to weather the winter. Hundreds of thousands of people have been killed in Syria, which according to some estimates has created almost a million orphans. And that creates challenges not just for their well-being inside Syria, but also in countries where they're living as refugees. This orphanage on the border between Syria and Turkey is a pilot project to integrate children. In addition to kids who lost one or both parents, Syrians in the area can leave children in a boarding school. Boys and girls have separate schools and villas where they live as extended families. The newly built space with trained staff is a sanctuary, especially for girls. Their teachers say the freedom to live and lead their lives independently will give them a chance to flourish. Good place in the future, maybe teachers, maybe doctors, maybe uh, lawyers. Teachers help children to cope, but they don't forget. Mariam visits her little brother every night to remind her of the family she once had. I was five. Armed men loyal to the government attacked and rounded everyone up. Then they opened fire and killed everybody. My mother got in front of us and took the bullets. Me and my brother spent two days under the blood and the bodies. I've had so many operations on my wounded leg. Six years on, the harshest reality is that thousands of children in Syria continue to live in similar agony every day. Osama bin Javed, Al Jazeera, Rehanli on the Turkish-Syria border.